All right, good morning. Here we go. We are going to be making ourselves our little angle quiz. So we're going to see if angles are acute, little ones. Are they obtuse, those huge angles bigger than 90? Are they right angles, 90 degrees? Or are they a straight angle at 180 degrees? So that's all we need to do. And you get to pick what you would like. So I would say five or more questions. But let's talk about how we can do this. So I'm going to start out this way. I'm going to close my video because you don't need to see me. And the first thing I want to do is if you look here, it's hidden. We can go into our extensions and we can add whew, our pen. So now we can actually start drawing some angles. And I think that'll be a lot more fun. I also think my cat is too big. If you want, you can pick a different sprite, draw whatever you'd like. But I'm going to make do the cat and he's going to be 50. And I'm going to have him start out down here in the corner. All right. So I've got all my pen. I've got my cat and we're good to go. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to set up my five questions first. So I'm just going to write new, mes new message Q1. And I'm going to broadcast new message Q2. Guess what? I'm going to do it five times. Broadcast new message Q3. I think by setting up our questions beforehand, it'll just make your life so much easier when we actually go into it. Broadcast new message Q5. And once we're also going to broadcast new message, the end. So now we've got our whole program done. Um, you may, we can talk about different ways to add in um, some, some the end messaging based on their score afterwards. The other thing you might want to do is give it a title, angle quiz, because it's nice, nice and fun. And remember, we when we start out, we want our cat, I like him to be there. So choose where your sprite goes first. Then when he starts, make sure he goes to that location. So now he's always there. And again, if you want him to be teaching in a background, you can choose the background. And then in looks, just make sure you have switched to that backdrop first. So now we know he's always going to be here. He's always going to be this size. And he's always going to be on the beach when he starts out. Now he can talk and he can say, so under looks, we'll say, good morning. Let's learn some angles. So one thing I'm going to recommend that you do is have him teach a few different types of angles first. So I'm going to have him draw an acute angle and tell them what it is. Then he's going to draw an obtuse. Then he's going to draw a um, a straight a right angle. So let's go in there and do that. So um, first thing we want him to draw. So I'm actually going to go back to events and create three more messages. Remember, there's no limit to the amount of messages. So I'm going to start name one acute. I'm going to name one obtuse. And I'm going to name one right angle. Right angle. Now that I have all of those, first thing I want him to broadcast is acute. Let's learn some angles. And so now we can go when I receive acute, we can have him draw this acute angle. So where do I want him to go? Remember, this is a nice small angle. So first things first, I think I'm going to have him draw it right from the middle here. He's going to go up to the beach. So he's going to glide to that spot. So it'll look like he's walking there. And then he's going to put, we're going to pick a pen color. I'd like it brighter, maybe. Woo, look at that purple. Beautiful. And he's going to go pen down. And now we want him to draw a skinny little angle. So now this is where you get to have a whole lot of fun. So one other thing you're going to want to remember is point in direction 90 when he goes back to the start. So he always goes back to the start. That point in direction 90 is going to be very, very important to us. So that's right here, okay? Point in direction 90. So his pen is down and he's going to move. Let's make, I'm going to make all my lines kind of the same. They're all going to be 50 steps. You can pick your own. So he's going to go 50 steps in one direction. Then he's going to come back. So he's going to go 50 steps forward. And then I want him to turn. Remember, it's a it's an acute angle, so it's going to be little. So I'm going to say, let's try 20 degrees. And then he's going to move 50 steps. Let's see if that actually works. Here we go. I'm just going to do this one. Let's see. Good morning. Let's learn some angles. Goes to this spot. And he draws it. Now, this is what we have noticed here. One, this is not an acute angle. This is an obtuse angle, right? It's huge. So because he only turned 20 degrees, it actually what's happening here is you're drawing the 
the angle you're doing is the reflex angle, the outside angle. So when we're building our angle quiz, we actually have to do the opposite. So we know it has to be bigger than 90 to make our acute, which is completely counterintuitive. And I'm not sure that that makes for good teaching here, but we're going to give it a try. So I'm going to try 150 degrees. And I also want to remember when we go back to the start, we want to erase all. So let's do it. Oh, and when we're done that, pen up. All right, so stop, start. Oh, here's why this pen needs to be down here. All right. Now we try. Stop, start. Good morning. Let's learn some angles. And its pen goes down already. So that's no good. Mr. Stelton, you got to get it together. All right, here we go. So he goes and he draws it. Problem is, now I also want him to take his pen up and I want him to go back to the start. Point in 90 and go back to the start. So that's what I'm going to add in after this. He's going to go back to where he was and point in 90 so he's straight again. So people can actually see the angle. The other problem is I don't think 50 is big enough. I'm going to make it 250 because I don't think that that angle really works. So here we go. That'll work. And I also think maybe a little bit thicker would be good. So change set pen size to four, not 41. That sounds crazy. And let's do that. All right, let's try one more time. Good morning. Let's learn some angles. Perfect. He draws it. It's really, really clear. It's a good size. We can see it. And we can see that the inside of that angle is acute. Yes, he had to go 150 degrees around the outside, but we can see that he's drawn an acute angle on the inside. Now what he's going to do is he's going to tell us about it. So under looks, say, this is an acute angle. And then I'm going to have him say, aw. And then I'm going to record my voice saying, aw, how cute. So let's do that. Oh, no. So click on this. Record your sound. Aw, how cute. But I don't think it worked. It's annoying. Did not let him use my microphone. Anyways, I know it'll work for you guys. It's because my program is using it, but you could even record in the voice. Aw, how cute, and make it really, really fun. So now he's showcased an acute angle. The next thing you'll do is you will broadcast. So now you could ask a question, whatever. So now you've broad taught everyone about acute angles. Great. When he's done, now you go back to your events, and we're going to broadcast. Hey, where's all of our events? Anyways, broadcast new message obtuse. And now, so now we've got acute right there, and we're broadcasting obtuse, and now you can teach when I receive obtuse. You can now teach that lesson. So again, you can have them glide to a place. You can copy and paste all of this, so you can just duplicate that, pop it in there, and now we just change it. We know that when we make it bigger than 90, he makes an acute, he draws an acute angle. So if we make it smaller than 90, 48 degrees, we can probably make an obtuse angle. So let's see how this works. Obtuse. And the next thing we'll broadcast when we're done that is right angle. Okay. Here we go. Goes there, draws the acute angle draws the obtuse angle. Problem is, I don't like where he is, where he starts that. That's actually not working really well for me. And he doesn't erase the other one first. So first we have to go to the pen, add erase all, and now I should be able to do both my angles. And x is minus 90. I'm going to make x 0 and y 2. All right, here we go. Draws an acute angle. Draws an obtuse angle, and it is terrible. Minus 50. Still not good. Minus 100. 
So you can see I, I have the same things. Like it just takes forever. You just got to practice, practice, practice. There's the acute angle. There's an obtuse angle. And it's absolutely perfect. So we'll start with that. And I'm going to leave right angle as your challenge. When you finish this and you've done all three angles, what I'd like you to do is see if you can create a quiz on your own. Use those skills we have from last time. Good luck and have some fun. Bye-bye.